So back at Tankfest, we were given that roadmap. And really the only news that we got on that roadmap that we didn't know about for the year was that there would be a new Cold War line in August. And I 100% expected to be told what this new line would be in the trailer for the season, as usual. After all, the last three tech tree lines that were released were shown in the trailer, but came out later in their seasons. So I expected the same with this one. But the trailer released and no line was shown. So I thought, well, we won't know until the Friday before, right? Wrong. With another fest that recently released, that being Metal Fest, we got another hint, I suppose, towards the new line with the T-55 AGM in two ways. The first way I noticed after looking up the tank and seeing it was a Ukrainian modernization of the T-54-55 platform. So a Ukrainian tank, right? That tells us the potential nation of the line. But the reason I looked it up was because of this comment on my Metal Fest video, saying that they mistook the armor model for the T-80 and that it confirms the Ukrainian T-80 line coming. Now, initially I wasn't sure what he meant, but that did cause me to look up the T-55 AGM and see that it was indeed Ukrainian. But it wasn't until scrolling through the bugs section of the official Watt console discord that I saw someone point out that the article used the incorrect armor model for the tank. That's when I fully understood the comment that they used the wrong model. And after looking up the T-80, well yeah, that's definitely the armor model of the T-80. And of course with this being an in-game armor model, that most definitely confirms that the tank already exists in the game files, right? So. Doing the most minuscule of research myself, as I'm not a tank geek to have noticed this in the first place, it does seem we may get the T-80 UD in the line in Era 3, most likely, and it will have ATGMs like the T-72s in Era 3. It could even go as far as making something like the T-84 the top Era 3 tank of the line. As for any tanks before the T-80, all I could find are some T-64s potentially, and maybe multiple variants of the T-64s that make up most of the Era 2 lineup. Now, of course, I'm not sure where this line will start at, whether it will branch off the Russian line at some point, or even finish off the Czech-Romanian line, or it's entirely possible that it might have its own entire line spanning all three eras with a free bottom Era 1 tank. I have absolutely no clue, but it's almost certainly confirmed to be the Ukrainian line this season for Cold War, with a T-80 making its appearance. My best guess for when it will be released is either the 20th or 27th of August, after the Metal Fest event is up, in order to keep with that roadmap they gave us at Tank Fest. I'm sure there's some tank historians who can come up with a full tech tree line in the comments. If you do want to make a tech tree line yourself, do remember the years that they put every era into, as they like to roughly keep into those lines. And that basically means that any tank past the year 2000 is most likely not going to be put into the game. Also, usually new lines come with premium tanks, and obviously this T-55 AGM is a Ukrainian tank, but it doesn't guarantee that it's the only premium to preface the line. With the AGM being locked behind the Metal Fest event, I'm willing to bet that there will be another, most likely Era 2 premium to come out before the line, or even at the same time of the line. And I know I don't play Cold War, but every time a new line comes out, I'm tempted to grind it out. And with the fourth good Cold War change in a row, from my eyes at least, with the ATGM minimum arming distance, I'm tempted yet again to give this line a chance. But there's still so much more to be done with the mode to make it enticing to me. A speed nerf to many tanks, and especially heavies in Era 3, and a passive change on the smoke to being consumable would do it for me though. Hoping for those in the next season. I will play whenever the Swedish Sturve line comes out, but this next line seemingly is not the Sturve line, so it's a toss up. Either way, I'm sure some of you are excited for the T-80 line to come to the game, and we'll see if the roadmap stays true come the end of August. Thanks for watching, and take care.